Hello and welcome to Music Made Simple. Lesson 4 The Characteristics of Sound Part 2 Duration, Intensity and Timber In Lesson 3, we learned that sound has four characteristics as far as music is concerned. The four characteristics are pitch, duration, intensity, and timber. If you do not watch lesson three, I advise that you go and watch it so that you can connect with lesson four. In that lesson three, we also learned that pitch is the height or depth of tone, or height or depth of sound. In lesson four, we are going to learn about the other three characteristics, duration, intensity, and timber. Recall that we learned in lesson three that pitch is how high or low a tone sounds. That is, that's a high pitch. That's a low pitch. Remember that this was well demonstrated in lesson three. Duration. Now let's go to duration. Duration is the length of sound in music. It can also be the length of silence. If you make a sound and hold the sound for like 10 seconds, the duration of that sound will be more than that of another sound that is held for only two seconds. This has long duration. The same pitch, but now with short duration. I also said silence because sometimes when a section of the choir is singing, another section keeps silent. The silent part is said to be observing a rest. Rests also have duration. You may be silent for 10 seconds, for 40 seconds, or for only two seconds. Combining pitch with duration now, so you see that we can combine these two properties and have something like maybe high pitch, short duration, high pitch, long duration, low pitch, long duration, low pitch, short duration. For instance, that would be a high pitch, short duration, and will be a high pitch, long duration. This will be a low pitch, short duration, whereas that will be a low pitch, long duration. Intensity. Intensity refers to the loudness or softness of a tone. Intensity is also called power or volume. When you sing loud, the intensity of power is high. When you sing soft, the intensity of power is low. Again, we can combine these three properties now, these three characteristics, the pitch, the duration, and the intensity. So I, for instance, I can have a tone with high pitch, short duration, high intensity. So that would be like, it's quite loud and the pitch is high and the duration is very short. That very same tone, I can have it as high pitch, long duration, but with low intensity. You can see that it's softer than the other one. I, I want to give another example of low pitch, long duration, high intensity. It's quite loud. But if I want the intensity to be low, the duration will still be long and the pitch will still be low. You can practice with the combination of these three characteristics. And at the end of the lesson, I'm going to give you exercises that you will use your voice to produce these sounds. You can also use voice to produce the sound. If I want a low pitch, long duration sound, I can, I can sing like 
But if I want a high pitch, short duration, low intensity, so you can vary the three characteristics with your voice or with an instrument. The fourth characteristic of sound that is important to music is timbre. Timbre is that characteristic of an instrument or voice that allows us to differentiate it from another instrument or voice. Two different instruments, for instance a piano and a violin, each playing the same tune will produce a different quality of sound such that you will be able to recognize which of the instrument is playing even if you don't see the players. It is much like you're being able to recognize your mother's voice while she is in discussion with some other woman in a room other than where you are. Timber is also called the quality of sound. Listen to this short piece played by the violin. You will easily recognize the violin even though a piano is playing along. And then here is a flute playing with an ensemble. And a clarinet playing with the orchestra. Then we have a French horn. And finally, a piano solo. We are able to distinguish the instruments and we will be able to do that even if they play exactly the same music. In summary, we have established that from the angle of written music, sound has four characteristics, namely pitch, duration, intensity or power, and timbre or quality. I would like to leave you with a few exercises to strengthen your knowledge on the characteristics of sound. Try to make the sounds that show the following characteristics. You may also use the keyboard if you have access to one. High pitch, low pitch, high pitch long duration, low pitch short duration, high pitch high intensity, low pitch long duration, low pitch low intensity long duration. Low pitch, high intensity, short duration. Next lesson, we will begin to learn how to represent these characteristics in written music. That's it for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below the video in case you have not done so, so that you can continue to get updates of new videos as they come out. And also, if you have enjoyed this lesson, please click like. Until next time, God bless you.